Hey mamas, it's Haley from Let's Mama, and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys four exercises I do with my birthing ball to help encourage labor to come. I don't really like to use the term induction just because that's something that we really only truly can do with medical tools, but encouraging labor is something this birthing ball is gonna be excellent for. It's gonna encourage baby to descend and just really help to like loosen our pelvic region, loosen those ligaments, allow baby to descend and allow pressure on the cervix and that will encourage our labor to start naturally which is what we all want so especially use this as you're approaching closer and closer to 40 weeks so this is something that I do every day um, most of the time I'm using my exercise ball actually when I'm doing bills or eating dinner at the dining room table instead of kind of lounging on the couch or on a dining room chair and kind of like leaning back which is going to close that pelvic region I try to sit with my good posture and on top of my sit bones which is going to really allow that baby to kind of come down and have room and so using this for kind of like your everyday stuff is going to be really helpful so without further ado let's get started I'll show you my top four exercises for inducing labor with a breathing ball so the first thing that I do is just the basic ball bounce it's basically just a little mini squat that's supported with the ball obviously and really is just going to use gravity and then having space down there with your kind of wider um, position of your legs so that baby can move down. And if you don't already have a birthing ball or an exercise ball, I'll drop a link below in the description. This is just a basic exercise or birthing ball from Amazon, but it does the job amazing. And honestly, this just feels good too. It put, takes kind of pressure off of my hips and lower back, which is what we all want later in pregnancy especially. So I really highly recommend getting one if you don't have one. Okay, so then the second exercise are just basic ball circles. So we're just going to roll our hips kind of around and make a big circle. And we're going to do this both ways. I've even heard that you really can't do any of these too much. Um, they're completely natural and harmless to, or yeah, harmless to mommy and baby. So really do them as much as you want or as much as feels good to you. But I've heard that you can do up to like 30 minutes one way and then switch. So maybe pop in your favorite movie and do your ball circles with your exercise ball, especially if you're past 40 weeks. And then the other way. Okay, then the third exercise is just a forward pelvic tilt. So we're gonna make sure we're sitting with good posture like we should be the whole time on top of our sit bones and really having that open pelvis. And then we're just gonna tilt forward. And this is just a forward pelvic tilt. And that way, no matter kind of what position baby's in, baby can have room and we can help them kind of wiggle down into the best place. Okay, so then the last exercise is lunge. Um, I like to call it a lunge, but it's just moving from side to side. So I just kind of step out with one foot and kind of lunge to one side, being supported by the ball, and back the other way. And you can go back and forth like this. Kind of do whatever feels good to you, honestly. Or we can hold it too. You can even do small bounces here as well. And the other side. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Those are my four exercises that I've been doing to help my labor to come on time. So hopefully this will be helpful for you guys. Please share with other pregnant mamas, your mama friends that are expecting babies. And I hope this really works for you and your baby to encourage them to come down and that you go into labor right around your due date, which is what we all want in the end. So if you don't mind, like and subscribe this video and share it. I'd love to see you all in the next video. 
when we do our birth and labor video of our baby girls. So hope to see you in the next video and I will talk to y'all soon.